Hello everyone. Welcome to the NPTEL TA Lives Interaction Session for the Week 0 assignment on the course of Rapid Manufacturing. This is Palkin Gupta and I am a TA in this course. The course instructors are Prof. J. Ram Kumar and Prof. Amandeep Singh from Department of Mechanical Engineering, IIT Kanpur. So, let us begin with the Week 0 assignment questions. So, this course has mainly theoretical type of questions. So, let us begin with question number 1. So, in question 1, it is, in today's time, the product life cycle has become long, short, in or indifferent or none of these. So, basically, what is a product life cycle? Product life cycle is the time the pro uh, the product first enters into the market and to the time it completely it is completely withdrawn from the market so as the technological advancements keep on taking place, so there are products that are periodically withdrawn from the market so that technologically advanced products can be used by the public. So, because of the fast-paced research and very fast-paced technological advancements, product life cycle has become short. So, the correct answer is short. Moving on to question number two. So, to meet customers' demand in today's market, we need what type of manufacturing technology? So, in today's market, the customer's demand is increasing at an exponential rate. So, to meet such high demands, we need fast production of the products. Along with the products meeting the specific requirements or the spec specific specifications. So for that purpose, we use rapid manufacturing, which is a technique that manufactures the products very rapidly. Using conventional manufacturing, we have limitations of manufacturing the complex shapes or different types of functionally graded materials, etc. But Using rapid manufacturing techniques, we can have complex contours, complex shapes, functionally graded materials, etc. with ease. Moving on to the question number 3. The technique which is used to prepare a scale model of a physical part can be best termed as so what is a scale model of a physical part scale model is basically a prototype so before going into the actual production of any physical part we usually make some prototypes so that things could be tested out on these scale products so that we can have a better idea how the actual products would function under actual physical conditions of whatever loading they are subjected to or whatever application they are being used. So to produce such scale models we use rapid prototyping technique. So it is a prototyping technique. Whereas this rapid manufacturing is actually the manufacturing of the entire part scale products. So the key difference is this is for part scale products and this is for scale models or the prototypes. And additive manufacturing is one of the technologies that is used to achieve 
रैपिड मैन्युफैक्चरिंग और रैपिड प्रोटोटाइपिंग So I hope the key differences are clear to everyone. Moving on to the fourth question, the manufacturing approach using con computers to control the entire production process is known as computer-aided design, computer-aided manufacturing, computer-integrated manufacturing, or agile manufacturing. Let us first understand the meaning of these terms. So computer aided design or CAD is basically the 3D modeling of the parts using softwares or computers. So this is not a manufacturing technique but a designing tool. Then comes computer aided manufacturing or commonly termed as CAM. So, this is a manufacturing technique which is used basically when human intervention is risky or errorless. So, here computers guide the machines to manufacture or to process the particular part. So, this is more of a numerical control or using computers, which is commonly termed as CNC or computer numeric control. Then comes computer integrated manufacturing, that is CIM. This is basically integration of computers to automate the entire production process. That is, from the raw materials to the finished part. So, CAM is basically just the processing of a particular part using a particular machine. But CIM is integration or use of computers to automate the entire production process or the entire production house from raw materials to finished parts having uh, looking at the supply chains or uh, responses from every part of the production house or the factory so it also has a role in supply chain deliveries demands etc now what is agile manufacturing so this is the capability or the manufacturing technique that is adopted by companies to remain competitive in the market and how quickly they adopt to the customer needs and the changing needs of the market so this is the quick adaptiveness. Manufacturing techniques with quick adaptiveness to the changing customer requirements and the market requirements. So having understood all the four terms, we can say that uh, the approach using computers to control the entire production process or the manufacturing of a part is computer-aided manufacturing. Since we are only concerned with the production of a product. The next question is the renal of production processes and the establishment of environmental friendly operations within the manufacturing field is called green manufacturing, agile manufacturing, rapid manufacturing or digital manufacturing. So we already understand the meaning of the terms agile manufacturing and rapid manufacturing. Let's look at what is digital manufacturing. So digital manufacturing is basically how 
uh, you manufacture pro uh, products taking into consideration the simulations, the 3D visualizations, the performances, etc. Performances of the parts, etc. So it is basically a process where you digitally create a part, test it out using simulations, visualize it using multiple 3D visualizing tools, and then after having it tested digitally, then you go to the actual physical manufacturing. Okay. Now other is green manufacturing. So the correct answer is green manufacturing, wherein environmental friendliness of the process is taken care of how by having less waste production recyclability of the leftover material or the leftover raw material so lesser waste production in sorry lesser waste production in manufacturing is one of the key achievements that is being made using green manufacture now the last question of the week zero assignment is the cost required to create a product is known as factory cost product cost inventory cost or none of the above so let us understand the meaning of each of the terms one by one so factory cost so it is the entire cost of the entire cost incurred by the factory in producing a part so this includes all the side cost as well that is maybe your electricity bills or transportation costs or some foodings that are given to the labors or something like that product cost is the cost that is directly associated with the manufacturing of the product directly associated with the manufacturing of the product so that is the cost of the raw material the processing cost the finishing cost that's it now next is inventory cost so this is the cost incurred in maintaining the inventory of the finished products that is the rent of the warehouse cost incurred in maintaining the inventory of the finished parts so it is not feasible every time that you get an order then only you pro uh, fabricate a product you have to keep some inventory for faster supply so the correct answer is the product cost okay. so this was all about the questions of week zero assignment please let me know if in case you have any doubts or questions thank you